Hi, it's Kathleen here. Welcome to my Using Timesheets tutorial. I'm just going to take you through how to enter a timesheet, what each of the functions in the timesheet are, and how to extract timesheeting in our reporting area. So, one of the easy ways to get to your timesheet is from your My Home tab. So here, if I just left click on Timesheet, it will take me to the timesheet area. And along the top, I can select either to enter a timesheet for myself, or if I click on the drop down, I can pick other resources on my account. I can select the time period, the week that I'm entering, simply by left clicking on the calendar pop up. Uh, we'll come back to the admin settings here. I can select autofill, and this will automatically pull across and add tasks for this week that are assigned to me. I can click copy last week and so that will bring across all the tasks that I entered time against last week or the week previous to this week. I can export here quite easily. Any timesheet information that I like I can select the project, uh, the users and uh, if I actually want to change my mind here and instead of exporting timesheet data I can pick other project data. Obviously our export format is Excel Word or CSV file and here again you can change the date range for that export. And once you've entered your timesheet, you will click the Save button. So what I'll do first is on the left hand side select Tasks. So from this pop-up, I simply choose the project. So I'll pick the sample project. I'm going to be picking tasks against myself. And you see I've only got two there. So I'll pick Design Database, which is under the Design Parent task. Click OK. That will bring that across for me. It tells me the project and the task name. So I can enter the hours that I've worked on that project for this week on that task. I'll click Save. Now, as an administrator, I can view the settings icon. So some users won't have access to this, but as an administrator, I can. So I'll left click on it. And this function allows me to create and add administration timesheet tasks. So, for example, we've got annual leave, meeting, sick leave. I can rename these. I can delete those that have a trash can simply by left clicking, or I can add a new one. So, I might want to add testing meetings, for example. So, I can add that admin type. Simply hit close. And now, for all users on my account, when they go to select tasks, they drop down and select admin, they'll see that's added as well as all these other admin task types. So I'll add that as well to my timesheet. I can add a few hours to that. In the timesheet area, you'll also see these little notepad with the pencil icons. Simply left click on them to add a comment quick and easy. I might want to add a file to that, so I might have a test document that that meeting related to or an agenda. If I want to remove these lines, I simply click the trash can to delete. And again, we'll just hit save, make sure that timesheet is nicely updated. And you'll see the icon has changed to have a little green bar above it, so that I can see that I made a note there. On each of the task rows, there's a little a question mark icon. If I left click on that, it gives me additional information about this task. So it tells me the summary task that it's under, its start and finish date, and what percentage complete that task is. And these task notes come from the project task list. So if I enter anything here, it will go across to the project task itself. Whereas these notes here stay on the project timesheet, not the project task list. So it's important to note the difference between these two areas that you can add notes. So now that we've entered a timesheet, let's pull a report. All reports are under the All tab, so we'll go to All Reports and click on Timesheets. I could click on it on the left-hand side. Let's select a project. I can pick a date range. We can choose how we want this project to look, so we can group it by project, by user, by date, or have no grouping. And we can select the users that we want to report on. So again, you simply select or deselect those. As with all of our reports, there's a variety of ways that you can export your report. You can choose to view it on screen, email it, receive it as a PDF, Excel or Word format export. I'll hit view on screen so that you can see the report. So click view, run that timesheet report. 
and you'll see that those tasks on that week have that time that I've entered and those are the individual days that I entered time. Again from here I could always export this report. So you see how quick and easy it is to enter a timesheet and pull a timesheet report. I hope you'll um, take the time to look at some of our other tutorials. If you've got any questions or issues with timesheets, feel free to contact us at support at projectmanager.com. Thanks.